here at Bumpus Harley Davidson of Murfreesboro. We just finished our first day of the motorcycle safety course. I highly, highly recommend taking it from these guys. Nice guys, very knowledgeable about the course material. Um, really nice people too, very encouraging, very helpful. Uh, just overall a great course. Um, so I'm gonna narrate a few of the things that you're gonna see in the video, a few of the exercises we went over today. And then tomorrow, I will be filming the uh, the final evaluation for the course. So stick around. Inches later. Twenty minutes later. In the arms of the age. So the motorcycle safety course was three days of really high quality training and a whole lot of fun. Rider coaches at the Harley Riding Academy were super knowledgeable and very friendly. I, I just can't stress that enough. They made everybody feel comfortable and gave us a lot of great riding tips. Um, they also demonstrated all the exercises for us before we practiced them so we knew exactly what we were supposed to do um, before we got out on the range. There were no surprises through the entire thing. They just laid out everything uh, very clearly for us. The first day we spent inside for about five and a half hours going over book material and uh, paperwork and knowledge prep uh, to prepare us for the knowledge exam on the next day. And then days two and three were spent on the course riding Harley motorcycles. Uh, for our course we used the new Harley Davidson Street 500 motorcycles and they were uh, installed with tip over protection kits and small Harley frame sliders. So. You didn't have to worry if you, you know, stopped or dropped the bike uh, for the people who might be worried about that for the course. It's all taken care of. Uh, we rode quite a lot on days two and three. And we practiced about 15 different exercises, which included everything from merging into traffic at speed uh, to starting into an immediate turn from a stop like at a red light. <clears throat> uh, then we practiced swerving. Uh, performing an emergency stop in a curve and stuff like that. Uh, one of the exercises, the instructors laid two by fours out in the roadway and we had to ride over top of them to simulate going over a foreign object in, in the road, like say a, a brick or a, or a block of wood falls off the back of a pickup truck in front of you and you don't have time to swerve around that. They want us to be comfortable with being able to go over that object head on um, in the middle of the road. And a, a lot of these things are things that I would have never thought to have practiced on my own if I had not even taken the course. Uh, when it came time for the road exam on the final day, the instructors demonstrated each skill for us that they were going to test us on in the final exam, including um, the U-turn within a small box. If you guys find some of our YouTube videos demonstrating uh, the box, you know, everyone is afraid of that box on the final day, but it really is not that big of a deal. Uh, accelerating and then stopping in the shortest distance possible so learning how to brake and just squeeze everything down without locking up your brakes and stopping in the shortest distance possible and then lastly performing an emergency swerve and separate braking maneuver to go around an object so say you're coming to a red light and a vehicle stops immediately in front of you and you don't have time to brake so you have to swerve around them first and then brake and separate those two uh, we also had plenty of time to practice these skills before the exam, so they would demonstrate them and then we got to practice them and get any help from them that we needed before we took the exam. So if anyone is worried or nervous about the, the final exam or road test, don't worry about it in the least. It's no big deal. I put my foot down twice uh, when performing the U-turn maneuver 
and I accidentally tapped one of the cones with my rear wheel uh, when we were doing the cone weave towards the end, and I passed just fine. You have to fail in like every way possible on every final piece of the road exam if you are going to fail. Um, as far as the knowledge test is concerned, it consists of 30 questions. The rider coaches go over every possible question and answer in the book that could be on the test uh, during your lectures in the classroom. So again, as long as you're there and listening and just present, this is not going to be a problem either. Uh, this is a great course if you guys are looking for that insurance discount for your motorcycle insurance or if you don't have a motorcycle and you want to get your license so you can go take some test rides before buying a motorcycle. Uh, in Tennessee, where I live, taking this course means you get a certificate, which you can take to the DMV, and it exempts you from having to take the knowledge test or the road test at the DMV in front of a police officer, which could be nerve-wracking for some of you. Uh, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is the first video on my Moto Vlogging channel. I'm hoping to show you my journey of motorcycling from the very beginning through to getting a bike and Moto Vlogging and riding around having fun on that. So I hope to grow this channel into something really popular and helpful for a lot of people. You guys can help by commenting below your thoughts on what you might want to see in upcoming videos or what you might want me to discuss or talk about. Uh, also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons as that will help me uh, continue to bring you guys great content. So until next time, ride on, ride safe, and I'll catch you guys later.